In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate the mixed liquor suspended solids concentration that needs to be maintained in a wastewater treatment plant in order to maintain a constant food to microorganism ratio. That's an F to M. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. Well, the problem reads, an activated sludge plant generally operates well with an F to M, that's food to microorganism ratio, of 0.65 pounds of COD per day per pound of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids. Given the following information, show a determination of the concentration of mixed liquor suspended solids that should be maintained. So here we're given a bunch of information and we need to calculate what concentration of mixed liquor suspended solids should be maintained under these conditions. Well, since they've already written all of the plant flows and concentrations and volumes for us, I'm not going to do that as we typically do with our known and unknown information. It's already done here for us. So we're going to determine our concentration of mixed liquor suspended solids by using our F to M formula or our food to microorganism uh, ratio formula. And that formula states that F to M is equal to the primary effluent COD or BOD pounds per day, so that's chemical oxygen demand or biochemical oxygen demand pounds per day, divided by the pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids in the aeration basin. So in this case, since they gave us the chemical oxygen demand, we'll use that. Had they given us the biochemical oxygen demand, and if that's what they wanted us to calculate our F to M using, we would have used that as well. But here, we're looking at our COD numbers. Well, we're trying to find this pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids in the aeration basin, because once we do that, we'll be able to go on and calculate the mixed liquor suspended solids. So to do this, we need to rearrange our formula to solve for pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids in the aeration basin. And we do this by rearranging the formula using the diagonal rule. Now, there's a lesson that we teach on working with formulas that we teach how to rearrange formulas. And here we have what we call the diagonal rule. So we're basically gonna take our food to microorganism ratio and move it to the bottom and then take our pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids and move it to the top of the other side. If you don't understand that, go to our website and check out our lesson on working with formulas and it'll ex explain how to rearrange this formula. So we're gonna rewrite our F to M formula like this. Pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids is equal to the primary effluent COD pounds per day or BOD pounds per day divided by that F to M. Well now what we need to do is find our pounds per day of COD and we'll divide it by the F to M or the food to microorganism ratio that they gave us and we'll have our total pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids. And then we can use the relationship uh, between volatile versus non-volatile which is given to us as 70% to complete the, the problem. So first we're gonna calculate our primary effluent COD pounds per day. And in doing that, we take our four million gallons per day, which is plant flow, times the 300 milligrams per liter, which they gave to us as our COD concentration, times 8.34. And then we're gonna divide that by the F to M that they gave us in the problem, which is 0.65. So when we divide this out, we see that we have 15,397 pounds of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids. So this is the volatile uh, pounds. Well, in order to get to the non-volatile, we use the 70% volatility. And we're going to divide our pounds of volatile suspended solids by that percent that's volatile to get the total mixed liquor suspended solids. So we're gonna take the 15,397 and divide it by that 70% but in its decimal form, 0 0.70. So when we divide the 15,397 by 0.7, we come up with 21,996 pounds of mixed liquor suspended solids. Well, now we have the total pounds of mixed liquor suspended solids in the aeration basin. 
Well, now we need to use that aeration basin volume with these pounds to calculate the concentration. So we're going to rearrange our pounds formula. And again, in that working with formulas, we show how to rearrange the pounds formula to solve for milligrams per liter, which is the concentration. Well, rearranging our pounds formula, we take our 21,996 pounds and divide it by the volume of the aeration basin, which is 1.25 million gallons, and divide it by 8.34. And when we do that, we find that we need 2,110 milligrams per liter in the aeration basin. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.